Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Guia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. We're halfway through the season in our quest for a new K-Check champion, but the search continues at tuloy pa rin ang Brain Power Challenge sa ating mga contestants. Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Rave. Rave is an aspiring director, stage manager, and performer. She currently studies in UP Diliman. So, the man we have Ace. Ace is a student of Datamex College of St. Adeline. He studies information technology. His hobbies are playing online games and taking care of his nieces and nephews. So, the man we have Elo. Elo is a fourth year secondary education student from UP Diliman, majoring in mathematics. His hobbies include watching TV series, listening to K-pop songs, and traveling. And lastly, we have John. John is a DCSA IT student who is eager to learn about the computer industry. His interests include playing chess, badminton, and watching anime. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito rin si Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And last but not least, Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History here at UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Sa round na to, correct answers are 10 points each. So, get ready to buzz in and collect those points because it's time. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. Who was elected president of the Philippine Senate on May 20th, 2024? Hello. Jesus Codero. Jesus Codero or Francis Jesus Codero is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. In what western continent do vampire bats mostly live? Brave. North America. North America is wrong. Anyone can steal. John. Asia. Asia is wrong. Ace or Elo, you can still answer. The correct answer is South America. Sayang. Question number three. With more than one billion followers, what is the predominant religion of India? Hinduism. Hinduism is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In what year did weightlifter Heidelin Diaz win a gold medal for the Philippines? John. 2022. 2022 is wrong. Let me proceed. Rave. 2023. 2023 is wrong. Let me proceed. Uh, did uh, Heidelin Diaz win a gold medal for the Philippines at the Olympic Games? What year? Only Ace and Elo can answer. Ace. 2019. 2019 is wrong. Elo? 2018. 2018 is wrong. The correct answer is 2021. Supposedly 2022. 2020, diba? But because of the pandemic, na moved siya ng one year. So, sayang. Question number five. Who played the role of Jack Dawson? In the 1997 film Titanic, hello. Leonardo DiCaprio. The correct answer is Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, check. Question number six. Which capital city of Nepal is a favorite jump off point for backpackers and mountain climbers? Switzerland. Uh, Switzerland is wrong. Capital city of Nepal. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Kathmandu. Question number seven. What dense metallic element has the chemical symbol OS? Hello. Osmium. Osmium is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In elementary math, what is the sum of the fractions one half and one third in lowest terms?
The correct answer is 5-6. Question number 9. What region in Mindanao gets its name from the vernacular word meaning where the water flows? Correct answer is Agusan. Agos. Okay. Question number 10. What number comprises the title of the 2006 action film? John? 300. Let me proceed. 2006 action film that features the gallant stand of the Spartans in the historic battle of Thermopylae. You said 300. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Which NCAA school has the nickname Golden Stags? The correct answer is San Sebastian. Last question for this round, number 12. In what southern Tagalog province can you find the city of seven lakes? San Pablo City. Hello. Laguna. Laguna is correct. Hey, check. That's it for round number one. Maraming salamat for that round, Jules. And after that round, we have Elo in first place with 40 points, followed by John and Ray with 10 points each. And in last place is Ace. So, ito na nga ang favorite naming portion dito po sa K-Check kasi ito nga ang portion na kinikilala natin ng ating mga contestants. At ang portion na to ay... K-Chica! <laughs> So, inaunahan natin si Rave. Rave, it seems you aspire to perform on and off stage, di ba? So, what kinds of productions do you wish to mount or to participate in or to create or whatever? Uh, I wish to mount and participate in children's theater po because it's very elaborate and you can really uh, hone your imagination while doing it po. Oh, galing. That will require a lot of imagination, yes. no? Looking forward na mapanood namin yung creations mo soon. Thank you. Okay. Next naman si Ace. So Ace, ngayon lang yata kami nakarinig na ginagawang hobby yung pag-aalaga ng mga pamangkin. Kasi yung iba, di ba, umaangal pag pinagbe-babysit <laughs> yung mga pam pamangkin. But ikaw, iba? Um, sa family po kasi namin, malaki po yung family namin and I am the youngest po. So bali mga kapamangkin ko po is halos magkakalapit lang po kami ng age and pag binabantayan ko rin po sila, naglalaro-laro na rin po kami. <laughs> Parang barkada mo na rin sila. How lucky, no? Ang swerte naman ng mga kapatid mo na merong magbabantay sa kanilang mga anak. <laughs> no? Kung minsan yun ang problema ng yes. mga mga nanay na nagtatrabaho, di ba? Sino ang maiiwan sa mga anak nila? Sana ay dumami ang mga katulad mo, Ace. Maraming maraming thank salamat. And thank you, contestants. Well, we'll talk to Elo and John later on. In the meantime, paghandaan po natin kasi darating na po ang round 2. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! -check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Scores recap muna tayo. Elo is in the lead with 40 points, followed by Rave and John with 10 points each. At si Ace naman kaya pang humabol sa susunod na round. And as promised, balik po tayo para tapusin natin ang... Game Chica! So, Elo, sa lahat ng napuntahan mo sa iyong mga travels, ano ang pinakapaborito mo at ano naman ang dream destination mo? Uh, siguro sa lahat po uh, feel ko Thailand kasi yun din po yung first uh, parang out of the country ko ganun. Tapos siguro dream uh, country, baka New York kasi gustong gusto ko bisitayin yung set ng friends ganun. Tapos yung apartment nila kasi sobrang fun ako ng friends. Wow, friends was a long time ago. No? And <laughs> apparently sobrang naman... daming may fans pa rin ngayon ng mga Gen Z's. Talaga? Mm -hmm. Bakit mo naman biglang naisipang manood ng friends? Eh, ang dami namang mga series ngayon na naglalabasan. Actually, nirecommend lang po kasi siya ng friend ko. Tapos hanggang ngayon po, ayun, parang naging, uh, ano ko siya, like, kapag na-stress ako, manonood nila ako ng friends, gano'n. Para, ayun. Ganun. And he was hooked. Nanonood ka ba ng friends? Yes. Napalabas namin yan. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat, Elo. At sana makapunta ka sa New York. Walang araw. Oo nga. Okay, si John naman. John, bakit ka nag-zero in sa computer industry? Ano ba sa tingin mo ang gusto mong matutunan pa sa field na yan? Um, actually po talaga, ang gusto ko po talagang kunin is HRM. Since marun ma 
may alam din naman po ako sa pagluluto. Hindi ko lang po, hindi lang po talaga kinaya ng budget yung yung sa schooling ng HRM. Pero um, about naman po dun sa ano, IT industry, wide, wide po siya, kumbaga diverse and um, in demand po siya nowadays. Mm-hmm. At high paying ang IT. Oh, oh. Pero okay pa yan. I, I always believe you can balance yes. these many things. It's never too late. Mm-hmm. Huh? After mo graduate, di ba? Ipon-ipon, tapos pwede mong ituloy yung passion mo. And it's such a practical thing, cooking. Yes. You can start off slowly. That's ako right. nga, when I learned how to cook, apat na yata yung anak ko. Anong natuto ako ang magluto. That's why, with conviction, it's never too late. Never too late. Okay, maraming salamat, Elo and John. And now, it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two. Contestants, question number one. Which P-pop group closed out their Pagtatag World Tour at the Araneta Coliseum? Hello. SB19. SB19 closed out their Pagtatag World Tour last May 18 and 19, 2024. SB19 is the correct answer. K check. Question number two, what do you call the calcium magnesium carbonate found in crystals that may be used as beach sand just like the one in Manila Bay? Ah, everybody knows about? Dolomite. Dolomite. Dolomite is the correct answer. K-check. Chinek niyo ba kung may dolomite pa? Question number three. The PFP is a political party chaired by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. What does the F in PFP stand for? Hello. Federalist. The answer is incorrect. Ray. Federal. Federal is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. From the old French term for sloping roof, what do you call an expensive apartment at the top of a hotel or a tall building? Penthouse. Penthouse is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. The PCSO is a government agency that is tasked to hold fundraising projects to provide funds for health projects and other charities. What does the S? Hello. Sweepstake. What does the S in PCSO stand for? Sweepstakes is the correct answer. k Question number six. What famous poem of Edgar Allan Poe has the name of a blackbird as a title? The correct answer is the raven. Right. Question number seven. Kundalal Gujral claims to have invented tandoori chicken and butter chicken in what country? John. India. With conviction, India is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. Which local rock band's self-titled debut studio album was released on April 10, 2024 and included the singles Namimis Ko Na and Raining in Manila. Hello. Lola Amor. Lola Amor is the correct answer. K-check. Ang giveaway talaga is ano eh, no? Raining in Manila. Question number nine in sports this time. On May 18, 2024, Alexander Yusik became the first undisputed heavyweight champion in 25 years in what sport? John. Boxing. Boxing is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In what year did explorer Ferdinand Magellan and his expedition reach the islands in the Visayas? Hello. 1521. 1521. Natatanda niya ba yung kanta, di ba? Sino nga bang kumanta nun? Yoyoy Villame. Okay, question number... Well, 1521 is the correct answer. Keche. Question number 11. What term for a shade of red may also refer to a church official, a bird, or a Mapua basketball player? Cardinal. Ah, talagang with conviction. Cardinal is the correct answer. K-check. 
Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What do you call a public sale in which prospective purchasers bid against each other until the highest price is reached? A. Bidding. Bidding is incorrect. Auction. Auction is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our second round. Thank you, Attorney, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Elo is leading with 130 points, followed by Rave with 70 points, John with 50 points, at si Ace naman ay may 10 points. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban dahil ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! K-check. And welcome back to K-Check. Scores recap una tayo. Elo is in the lead with 130 points, followed by Rave with 70 points, John with 50 points, and Ace with 10 points. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na Ultimate Pagalingan Round. So dito sa Ultimate Pagalingan Round, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Tandaan contestants for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. So let's go for those points and for the win. Tandaan nyo rin na sa round na to sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin! So let's kick off the ultimate pagalingan round with Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Attorney Gabby. Um, in literature, since the 1920s, the character of Count Dracula has featured in more than 80 films. The character was based on the 1897 novel Dracula by which writer? A. Charlotte Bronte B. Charles Dickens C. Mary Shelley D. Bram Stoker E. Oscar Wilde But of course, you know Count Dracula, right? <laughs> okay. um, Dracula is based on a character from a novel, Dracula, written by the Irish writer Bram Stoker Oh nga, I remember there was a movie that Precisely said, Bram Stoker's, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dracula. Yeah. Super, scary. Na it's super scary film. <laughs> I don't watch scary films, but I know the name of the movie. Prof Ricky, your turn. Okay. What is the law of conservation of mass? A. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. B. The total mass of reactants equals the total mass of products in a chemical reaction. C. Matter cannot change its state. D. Force equals mass times acceleration. E. The volume of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. The correct answer is letter B. The law of conservation of mass states that in a closed system, the mass of the reactants equals the mass of the products in a chemical reaction. Parang natahimik ang lahat ng tao dyan sa question and answer portion na yan. Prof. Lu. Okay, salamat. Popular culture tayo. Which TV cartoon increased the viewer's vocabulary in 1996 by introducing the word embigen? A. SpongeBob SquarePants B. South Park C. Family Guy D. The Simpsons E. The Jetsons Defined as to make bigger or more expansive, it was Jebediah Springfield, the founder of the Simpsons' hometown, who was quoted as saying, a noble spirit begins the smallest man. The correct answer is D, The Simpsons. Embigen. Embigen. <laughs> Simpsons pa. Tinanggap ba yan ng Merriam-Webster for Word of the Year? Tinanggap nga. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat, Prof. Lu. And to begin our second round, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Project Gutenberg, founded in 1971, provides free access to thousands of books in the public domain. It was named after Johannes Gutenberg, the inventor of A. A library catalog system B. The typewriter C. The printing press D. Waterproof ink E. Parchment A. C. The printing press I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. Um, the printing press invented by Gutenberg revolutionized. Um, well, it made literacy, no, open to all and changed no? the world. Okay, okay check. Wow. So nakikita natin that our experts are so invested in K-Check, <laughs> diba? Nakasalalay ang happiness nila. Ang <laughs> happiness nila for the day. Prof Ricky, I hope you will be happy this time. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> what is the perimeter of a rectangle with a length of 5 units and a width of 3 units? Hello. 16. The correct answer is 16. The perimeter of a rectangle is calculated by adding twice the length and twice the width, 2 times 5 plus 2 times 3 equals 16 units. K-check. Ah, so you're also happy. Now, will Prof. Lu be happy? Prof. Lu, tingnan natin. Okay, kaya nyo to. Cultural history. What country is famous for its annual Diwali Festival? A. Brazil B. Germany C. India D. Spain E. United States C. India Also known as Dipavali, Diwali is the ancient Hindu festival of lights. It symbolizes the spiritual victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. The correct answer is C. India Okay, check. Hi, happy ang ating mga experts with that second round. What about a points recap? Let's do that now. Elo is leading with 160 points, Rave with 130 points, John with 50 points, and Ace with 10 points. So we now enter into the second half of yes. our ultimate pagalingan round where we have 180. 180 points up for grabs by every anybody and everybody. So, Prof. Sophie, to start off our third round of questions. Thank you. I hope you'll be happy yes, again. Yes, let's, let's all be happy. <laughs> so, um, in 1886, the fable, Ang Pagong at Ang Maching, was illustrated in 34 frames, making its artist possibly the first Filipino cartoonist in history. Who was the artist? Hello, Jose Rizal. Um, the choices are A. Fernando Amorosolo B. Francisco V. Coching C. Carlos Botong Francisco D. Juan Luna E. Jose Rizal Hello, you are correct. No? Um, Jose Rizal is the Renaissance man. Okay, check. Galing naman ni Rizal. <laughs> At happy pa rin si Prof. Sophie. Tingnan natin, Prof. Ricky. Okay, dapat happy pa rin ako dito. Ha? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> okay. What is the most abundant gas in our Earth's atmosphere? A. Oxygen. B. Carbon dioxide. C. Nitrogen. D. Argon. E. Hydrogen. Hello. C. Nitrogen. Nitrogen makes up about 78% of Earth's atmosphere. I'm happy now. Okay, check. Nako. Tingnan natin kung 3 for 3 for this third round, Prof. Lu. Okay, tuloy natin ha ang correct answer. Philippine history. Who was the Philippine president to sign into law declaring Idil Fitir as a Philippine national holiday? Letter A, Fidel Ramos. B. Joseph Estrada C. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo D. Benigno S. Aquino III E. Rodrigo Duterte
Ay. Ay, sorry po. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, Republic Act number no. 9177, an act declaring the first day of Shawwal, the 10th month of the Islamic calendar, a national holiday for the observance of Eid al-Fitr, was signed on 13 November 2002. By President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. The correct answer is C. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Sayang, kala natin 343. Pero ito na nga, ang last round. Tingnan natin kung masaya ang ating experts sa last round ng ultimate pagalingan round. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Salvador Dali was a Spanish surrealist whose most famous work was the persistence of memory, which showed melting clocks in a barren landscape. In 1969, he designed the logo of what well-known brand of candy? A. Pez B. Lifesavers C. Mentos D. Bazooka Joe E. Chupa Chups The correct answer is <laughs> e, <laughs> Chupa Chups. <laughs> you should be familiar with this. Kung may nakasagot sa na bibigay natin. With sample oh. Chupa Chups pa talaga. Well, Chupa Chups is actually Spanish. Yes. yes. Prof. Ricky. Hi. What is the role of DNA in cells? A. To produce energy. B. To control cell movement. C. To to store and transmit genetic information. Hello. C, to store and transmit genetic information. DNA stores and transmits genetic information that dictates cell functions and is passed on during reproduction. Okay, Che. Ah, at least si Prof. Ricky masaya. Tingnan natin kung si Prof. Lu ay magiging masaya for the last question for this round. Okay, sana maging masaya tayo. Religious history. In Zoroastrianism, the creator deity is known as A. Yazatas B. Avesta C. Angra Mainyu D. Ahura Mazda E. Amesha Spentas Ahura Mazda is the creator deity and supreme god in Zoroastrianism. He is an uncreated, omniscient, omnipotent, and benevolent god who has created the spiritual and material existences out of infinite light and maintains the cosmic law of Asha. The correct answer is D. Ahura Mazda. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Elo, our K-Check Daily Winner. With a final score of 250 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din kina Rave, Ace, and John for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lu. Maraming salamat. Ako po si Jules Guillang. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check! K-Check!